Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. I'm back for a really quick card on the run video. So, alright guys, I've already pulled out some goodies and here we go. So, where I started with is first, I just bought some A7 cards and envelopes. If you don't, if you don't make your card bases and have them stored, which I do, but when you're on the fly, just pick up some of these. I've even used dollar spot cards, and then I've put new fronts on them. You do what works for you. I have literally stopped at the dollar spot right next door to Tuesday morning, picked up some either foam or, you know, foam pop-ups and glue or whatever else I needed and or stickers and made a card and sent it. It is, don't make it hard, it's really easy. So, picked up these at the uh, mom and pop scrapbook store in Wimberley, Texas. I also picked up and I shared in a recent haul today. Um, I picked up some of these good kits and whoops, I've got all kinds of stuff out here. Okay, so I determined that, is this the one? No, this is the one I'm finding all the goodies in. So there's all these different, as you can see, goodies on the back. And this was $3.99, 47 pieces. You gotta love that bunny. So, there's all kinds of fun, already fussy cut it out, um, goodies, and I looked at all of them. I had to pull them all out. So, uh, no, I did already got some of that. Okay, so I went through here. I bought this one. It was $4.99. It is all about skiing, which this is not what this is about. So, this would be a great, like, January card. Um, here in Texas, we go up into the mountains of New Mexico or... Colorado, you know, that could even be for spring break. You just don't know. Like, I learned to ski on spring break. So, all right. So, these I'm going to set to the side. I've already gone through those. And then, this is just all big journaling cards. Small, medium, large. So, I went through here. I recognized that the large would not fit on there. So, that was an option. I went through the mediums and I went through the smalls. Okay. Done all that. So, now... These are the final selections. So this is how my process goes. I'm not going to need the envelope right now. So I'm going to put that up here. I've got my tape runner, my foam tape, and my glue, and my scissors. That's it. Um, and you don't even need all that. I mean, it's just what I had. So we're going to start at the base. So I looked at some of the bases. Let me fold this. So it comes pre-scored, so you just fold it, and you're good to go. And if I had my bone folder, I'd be using my bone folder, but I don't. So I'm just going to use my scissors to make this a nice, ooh. And you got to watch that. Some of these are not as perfectly scored. So let me fix that real quick because, you know, I know that's you, but that's the kind of stuff that bugs me. And I have to be honest, when I get a card and it doesn't meet, I do notice it. I know, I know. What is wrong with me? But I do. At least I'm, I'm admitting it to you, my friends. <laughs> my sweet friends. Don't judge me. Alright, so there's that. I also have my little, um, you know, freebie or you know, gift card, you know, whatever you have. And um, so I looked at this because I liked how the brown picked up. Whoops, and I think I would do it like that. Well, you know, it really could go either way. You could do it this way. You could do it this way. It's whatever you want to do. Also, I looked at this. But then it's like the whole thing. No, I didn't want that. It didn't do what I wanted it to do. Oh, but I did look at the back. Now that's gorgeous. And that I would do up and down. Ooh, that may be for the sentiment. Okay, on this one, the back is this. Now that's really pretty too. But that's not what I'm looking for today. So I'm going to save this. I am going to put this on here. I am, now I looked at a couple of things. So I looked at this for the inside. So I'll wait and save that. I looked at that, could pop that up, Merry Christmas, and then just all these different bits and pieces, right? You know, I could put a jingle bell, you know, a star, pop these up on there, and a heart. That's a really cute card right there, okay? Or, I could take that off, and let me see the back. I could do this, and pop that up on it, and that's a cute card. Or, <laughs> do you like all my options? Or I could do this. A very Merry Christmas. And it just fits. I think I'm not going to do this. 
I think I'm going to go, and then also have these angel's wings. Because I had looked at like this, you know, the heart with the angel's wings. And I might do that. But anyways, okay. So right now, I think I'm going to go with this and this. And then all these, I don't know if I like that bell yet. I love the star. It is really dark. I'm going to admit that. But I may like put it on the corner there so it kind of sticks out. And I love the angel's wings just is too big. Unless I did something like this. Hold on, guys. Ooh, kind of like that. But still coming up Merry Christmas. Huh, I may say that for the inside. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this and this and... Huh, where's my little kit? Hold on, guys. Let me see if I can find... Nope, not so ski. <laughs> oh, gosh. I think about the winters and snow skiing and all that good stuff and just sweet memories. Um, okay. Well, let's see here, guys. So, let's see if I see anything else. Ooh, I like that. <gasps> Ooh, that could be like a clipboard. No, too much. So, this is how my process is, guys. And I hope your process is fun and... Ooh... Oh my goodness. Yes. Here's the tree. Here's the star for the top. And hold on. Is there anything else little? Well, I have this little arrow. I don't know. Yes, no, maybe. Nah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And you're probably like, no, no, that looks good. <laughs> So, this is really how I do it, guys. I literally just pull it out, look at it all, usually have a bigger space. Oh, gosh. No, I love that. Okay. And actually, this is going to go on the inside. I think the wings will go there. Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this. And this is not going. I don't want that. And, yeah. Okay, so here we go. We're going to just start building. And I'm not taking everything off yet. I know I'm not going to use that, so I'm going to take that off. But I will keep all these extras out. So, because you never know. Okay, love that. So I'm going to start here. So I'm going to lay this one down flat. And I'm just going to use my Tombow Mono because it dries very quickly. I love the art glitter glue. I love the Tombow Mono. It's all good. And it doesn't require a lot. And that works out well for me. Now, if I'm really in a hurry, I give it a head start. I know. You're probably all thinking, no, no, don't do that. There's a reason for it. Um, when you are in a car and you're making a card, whoops, and it dries clear, um, you need to be fast sometimes. And so you're like, oh, I don't want to wait for the glue to dry. I don't want to use glue. That's how you use the glue. Um, you fan it. You put it in front of the vent of the car. <laughs> All that. <laughs> I know. You're probably thinking, oh, you're so nuts. But I know. But it works. It works. Trust me. Okay. I could be really be frugal and just do corners, but I don't know. Just feel I'm like going for it today. I think this is going to have to last a lot longer until Christmas comes. <laughs> but this is a very, like, if you have a guy in your life, you know, this is a great card. Like a dad or a brother or, you know, an, un an uncle. You know, this is a really manly, you know, lots of good colors. It could be for girls too. It could be for a family. Whatever you like. But um, I just think this is a more guy card. And, um, you know, it would work. It would work. So, um, but I love blues, the colors of the ocean. I love the, the nature here. So, it's a win. It is a win. Um, so, I'm just going to go like this. Put that down. And we've got a layer. And then I think I am going to just attach this like that because it says there's a sentiment Merry Christmas I think I'm just gonna glue this baby on and you know what yeah now I've got my tape runner too so I was deliberating okay so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of go like that 
that. Kind of guesstimate where I want it. And I may go back in. Yep. And, you know, like a little bit more. Whoops. Wasn't exactly accurate there, was I? But that's okay. I mean, the great thing about Tomba Mano, it gives you time to play. It's a quick drying glue, but it's also like you can wipe it up and it dries clear, so it's not a big deal. But I will tell you, if you're not going to screw down the lid, at least put it on top so you don't get the gunky, the gunky stuff. So I'm going to make the cardinal sin here, and I'm going to pop it up one more time. A lot of people don't like doing that because of cards, but I don't know. I don't know if I just say the right thing, but when I go into my post office, you know, they don't charge me extra for two pop-ups, two layers, but I don't know. Some people say they get charged. I, I'm very fortunate I don't get charged. So, I love that. I think that is really pretty. Simple, easy peasy, nothing hard. Okay, so now, this is pretty plain on the inside. So I love the tag. I love the clipboard idea. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's going to go like that. To me, it looks kind of like a clipboard. Probably not to you, but it does to me. And I'm thinking this is going to go underneath. Oh, yeah. Liking that. Mm -mm -mm. So I think I'm going to pull it up just a wee bit so we can see more. And that looks more like a clipboard. There we go. Do the colors like perfectly match? No. Am I happy with it? You better believe it. I love it. It's textury. It's pretty. It's all those things that gives me room to write. And there's, it's not so drab. So yeah, that's why I love using these kits. I think they are phenomenal. They make it so easy. You can just pull out a stack of stuff and then go for it. I'm going to go this way in because that's perfect. It may have been perfect the other way too, but I don't know. You know. And right now, I guess I should use like something to mark that. Hmm. Okay. I'm using a pen because all my pencils haven't been unpacked yet. Alrighty, so I'm just going to do a little mark there. Mark here. And I'll cut that very quickly. If I had a trimmer, this is exactly what I would be using a trimmer on. But for today, I am just going to go like that. I probably curved it, and I'll know in a minute that that's okay. <sighs> Love it. Let me make sure it'll close well, and it does. Okay, so this goes down first, and easy peasy. Um. So when you take in the cost of the card, the pre-made cards that I bought, and then the other kit, I would say it's still under a dollar to make this, even with the glue and the tape and everything else. Of course, you have that initial investment of, and you can also get pre-made cards and envelopes at um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, um, Joann's. And you can use your coupon, so it's even cheaper. And for me, that's what I was doing. I love that. You know where that's going to go? That's going to go in the envelope. So, beautiful. And that's going to go in the envelope. Ooh, maybe this is where I'm going to put that. Ooh, I forgot about this, but that's okay. Now, let's put this down. And this is next. And I'm going to make sure I know exactly where I want to put it before I drop it. And I think I'm going to take it almost all the way to the top. And the reason why is I want to see more of my Christmas trees. You're probably thinking, no, 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 but yeah, this is what works for me. I'm not going to put this on foam tape. Number one, I want to be able to write on it. Number two, it'll just thicken up the card. So, yes, 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 this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to take that almost to the, I mean, I'm leaving a little tiny edge. I don't know, oops. Okay, that is so cute. So I get one tree. That works. Now I'm going to cover this up so this is like a clipboard, a tag. They will never know. <laughs> you can nozzle that glue needs to be cleaned up, but it has traveled and been high up in the mountains and <laughs> it's been everywhere. 
Oh, goodness. We were everywhere. Gosh. We love Arizona. We love New Mexico. We love even West Texas. I mean, you know, there's parts of West Texas. I have family in West Texas, so. Okay. I love that. Now, I could come back in and add my tree. But then I don't have a lot of place to write. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to save my tree for another card. And that's okay. I really like that. Now, I could come in here and put something like Happy Holidays. But I already said Merry Christmas. So I'm going to leave this alone. I'm happy. This is done. You could come back in. You could put bookmarks. You could put arrows. You could do whatever you wanted. To me, I want a space to write. I want the sentiment. I think that's darling. Okay, so that part's done. Now, let's get to the envelope. So, will it hold up in the mail? I don't know. But, I mean, I've done, you know, stickers and washes and all that, and they've held up. But what I'm going to do with this one is, this is going to be a card that I'm going to hand to someone, and so I know I don't have to worry about it. So I'm even going to pop that baby up. Um, yeah. So we're going to bring back in this. We're going to tie this back in. I do love. Gosh, I've got to clean up that glue. Sorry, guys. I should have done that before I started. Okay. I literally pulled it out of the bag that I took on the trip. So here we go. There's that. I'm going to pop that baby up. And voila. So when I travel and I run out of foam tape, like my inexpensive stuff, I will run in and buy this at Target. Or if I have a coupon, um, like I have all those ones on my phone, to Hobby Lobby, Michael's, Joann's. But sometimes when you're traveling, and especially in some of the areas of um, Santa Fe and um, New Mexico, it's pretty barren, you know. So... There's not a lot of chain stores except for a gas station, you know, and even in West Texas. So, you know, and you're thankful to find a gas station. <laughs> so, and you're even more thankful if there is a, like, little convenience store. You can see case you can grab something to eat. Okay. Don't. You love that. Easy peasy. I spoke. I talked too much. But, and if I, you know what, I'm going to pop that there on the end just enough so that it won't bend down that is just too cute i know so yes i kind of break the rules when it comes to mailing but you know i always ask them before i mail it that is so stinking cute i love that that's just that's just the guy's card and then you open it up and it all ties together so, that's it guys. This is my card and um, envelope tutorial with my quick and easy bow bunny kits from the Sassy Scrapper in Wimberley, Texas. My hands are sticky. I'm trying to get this out of the way for y'all. Um, don't make it hard. Make it simple. If you want to fussy cut and stamp and create go for it. I have done so many things like that. Whoops, I just dropped it on the floor. Get it afterwards. Um, but if you're like in a hurry and you just want to make something, this is gorgeous. And if I thought about it, I could have put washi under that. There's a whole bunch of other things. Same thing here. But the kit kind of did everything for me. And this could be for a couple. This could be for a family. This could be for a man. This could be for a woman. Perfect. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you like this card. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you make cards like this, tell me in the, the um, comments below or email me at josephinesdesigns.com at gmail.com. I'd love to see what you're doing. You guys so inspire me. And, um, yeah, so I am really focused on making inexpensive projects as much as possible this year and quick and easy projects for so many of you that work and don't have a lot of time. You know, this would have been darling. It would have tied that into this, and that would have been darling in here as well. So, you know, just a thought. You can, and I do things on the left, too, sometimes. I really put scripture over here a lot. So, all right, guys. I, I, I could go on and on when it comes to card, make, marking, uh, card making and 
paper crafting. So, all right, guys, most importantly, I pray that your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Thank you so much for stopping by. I know it's a little early for Christmas cards, but I'm going to get started. So, um, I am so excited to be back with y'all. I am so excited to have new, fun, hopefully quick and easy card making for you guys, as well as we'll get into some of the more fun stuff once I get the studio cleared out and we get back in. So, um, yeah, have a great day. Again, blessed, creative, and lovely day. I'll be talking to you soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.